Hey friends, it's Christy. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you my Lawn Fawn haul. So these are all of the items that I picked up from the latest fall and winter release for 2024. And uh, yeah, I just thought I would share them with you before I repackage them. My order just arrived last night and I already want to film with it today. So I just wanted to hurry up and get this haul video filmed for you guys. Uh, so you can kind of just see what might be upcoming on my channel. So I'm going to set these off to the side and we'll go through everything one by one. And I just wanted to give you guys a full disclosure. I am on the Lawn Fanatics design team for the challenge blog and I'm also a monthly Lawn Fawn contributor to their blog and YouTube channel. So they do send me a few supplies in advance so that I can start to create with them so we can get you guys inspired for the release and then the rest of the items. I do receive a gift card from them and then I also purchased above and beyond that with my own money um, just because I wanted more products. So anyway, I'm going to share all of that with you. So the first thing that I got was a little stamp from Melinda with a little note that is who packed my order. So thank you, Melinda. So last time I actually got some sequins and I wasn't sure if they were done with the stamps and if they were moving on to other things, but I did get a stamp again. This one says howdy. I don't think I have this one yet, so that is really cute. So I guess uh, the sequence was just like a, maybe like an in-between thing. I don't know. But um, I also got the Free With 60, which is the Sweet Christmas Mice. These guys are so adorable. I really, really love them. I think it's super cute. These are going to make such cute little Christmas cards. I love all the little sentiments with the speech bubbles. And then we also have the larger sentiment. Wishing you a sweet Christmas. The cupcake with the candy cane sticking out is very cute. I love this little mouse carrying the figgy pudding. And then we also have a gingerbread man and a candy cane. Super adorable. I am very excited for when the dyes will be released for this, which probably won't be until next winter. But anyway, um, speaking of that, I actually did pick up a die set from a previous Free With 60. So um, last winter, the Free With 60 was the Simply Celebrate Santa. Um, so there was this sweet little row of Santa with his reindeer couple speech bubbles and then a whole bunch of sentiments super adorable and then this winter they released the die set for that so I of course had to grab that so that I can uh, use that for some holiday cards this winter very excited for that I also got a few of the mini stamp sets that were released this time and this is probably going to be spoilers for some of the stuff that's to come but I absolutely had to get the Little Woodland Library add-on. So you get the book and then the butterfly. And I love this little sentiment, Butterfly in the Sky, because if you know this from the TV show Reading Rainbow, that's part of the theme song um, to the show, which was just a show about books and reading. And it was absolutely incredible. It was um, hosted by LeVar Burton, who is such a talented guy, and um, it gives you really fun little titles in here to put in your book. So if you give a squirrel a nut, the very hungry bookworm of mice and men, acorns of wrath, which I actually just finished reading the grapes of wrath for the first time. Amazing. Uh, forest tales, good night woods, Harry Potter, spelled like a hare, like a bunny. And then Fox in Socks, which is a play on, um, oh my gosh, seriously, what's his name? Dr. Seuss. Ugh, I can't believe I forgot that for a second. A Dr. Seuss book. And then Love and Peace, which is, of course, a play on War and Peace. And then I got the matching dies for that as well. And it even gives you the little um, die for the Butterfly in the Sky sentiment. Really, really fun. Then I got the Tiny Sentiments Coffee. 
So we have a speech bubble and a whole bunch of little sentiments that are all coffee themed, like thanks a latte, cool beans, brew can do it, we're a perfect blend, chai love you, sorry I'm latte, coffee break, how you been, you mocha me smile, I love you a latte, have a latte fun, sip sip hooray, I really love that one, and it's your birthday. So I grabbed that along with the matching dye. The dye was only $1.50, so very inexpensive. Um, it may have another dye, like maybe... Um, it's possible... Uh, that looks like no. I was going to say maybe there's one of the other speech bubbles that the dye would have matched, but it's not those. But, you know, by the time you hunt it down and figure out which dye might match, and maybe none of them fit perfectly, I just figured it was better to have it and keep it stored with this, so I just always know which speech bubble dye to use. Um, and like I said, maybe none of them actually match. I don't know, so... Um, I did grab that, and I also got the cheesy Christmas add-on, which gives you a little box of cheese puffs and a tis the cheesin <laughs> sentiment, which is funny. Um, but the one that I really loved, which was the reason I got this one, is the Have Yourself a Cheesy Little Christmas. Have Yourself a Merry Little Christmas is probably my most favorite Christmas song, especially like the Judy Garland version. I love that so much. So um, I got that mainly for that sentiment, but there's also some really good ones. Oh, what joy. Have a nice Christmas and enjoy the festivities. Which is, that one's really good. And I did, of course, get the matching dye. Again, it was only $1.50, and um, I don't think there is another dye. There is the Party Pups stamp set that is like a birthday dog set that has a similar box of treats. I couldn't remember if it had a bow on it and I wasn't sure if the die would fit completely. So I just went ahead and grabbed it for $1.50 so that I can keep it stored with this and you know, and I know where it is and I, it's easily accessible when I'm using this set. And like I said, it might not even be a perfect match anyway. Um, then I went and grabbed the one of the half size sets. I was so excited for the You Crow Girl stamp set. So um, Harvest, Happy Harvest is one of my all time favorite fall stamp sets from Lawn Fawn. It's the one with the scarecrow. I love, love, love that scarecrow. And I know I'm not alone in this. I know it's a lot of us um, that have that set as one of our favorites. We just really love it. And I think it's so fun that they've created a girl version. And we've got a smaller crow, which is super cute, because if you place it in a scene with the crows from Happy Harvest, it'll be like a baby crow, which I thought was a really adorable. We also get a little mouse and a pair of overalls here. And then what I thought was really fun is that we have a pocket and a patch that are separate, so you can stamp them wherever you want. You can give her patches on her shirt, you can give her like a little pocket on the top of her overall dress. You could mask off the sides of the dress and add a little pocket on each side. You can put patches wherever you want. You could even maybe get a patch on her hat. It might go over the edge, but you could like mask off the edge of it so that you don't lose your white line as you're die cutting. But I just thought that was really fun. And then there's also a little flower and a bow you can add to her. And then the sentiments are super adorable. You crow girl, I love watching our friendship grow or crow. Really, really cute. I'm I'm really excited to play with this one. This is helping me get in the mood for fall. If you've watched my previous videos, you know that I've been struggling to get in the mood for fall because I am just such a summer girly, but this is helping. This is helping a lot because I'm really excited to play with this one. So, so cute. All right, so next up is probably the stamp set that I have never been more excited for in my entire life. If you know anything about me, you'll know that I am a huge reader. I am obsessed with reading. I just love it so much. I think I'm up to something like 140 some books this year so far. I just love to read, like really, I love to read. And um, I also was responsible for um, 
well, me and my boss, but it, it was kind of my influence that started our little free library at my workplace. I work at a pottery studio, but we actually have a little free library in our workplace and I'm the one that like maintains it. I buy new books for it. I go, you know, I, I buy them at the thrift store. I thrift books for it all the time and um, I'm the one that stocks it. I'm the one that cleans it up. I'm the one that refreshes the books. If something's not moving, I'll take it out and put something new in. I make sure that there's books for all ages. So I even have picture books for kids. I have middle grade. I even have books for teens and then of course adults. I just, I really care so much about reading and spreading the love of reading. So it's going to be no surprise that I picked up the Little Woodland Library stamp set. Has there ever been a cuter stamp set in the entire existence of the world? I'm pretty sure no. I'm pretty sure no. Um, come on. Woodland Critters, which are my favorite of all critters, reading books, like, it just can't get any better. It can't get any better. I... I am in love. I am in love with this stamp set so much. My favorite image is, of course, the little squirrel reading. You guys know that red squirrels are my favorite animal. And actually, when we got our little free library, all of the girls who work at my studio were all artists in some way. So we all painted little designs all over the little free library. I don't think I have any pictures. If I do, I'll insert some in the video here, but I don't know if I still have any pictures on my phone or if I deleted them. But anyway, I actually painted a little scene with a squirrel reading in a tree, and it looks so much like this. It's crazy. Um, so that was one side, and then on another side I have an octopus holding different books, and a mermaid, and a sea otter, and we all contributed. So we all painted little animals and different scenes all over it. We've got mushrooms, and frogs, and cats, and I mean, every side is something different. We have a nighttime scene, um, we have like a spider coming down and holding a book. We have all kinds of different cute stuff all over the little free library, and... This set just reminds me so much of that, and I am so freaking excited to play with this. I just love it to bits. Love it, love it, love it. I love the little free library. Ours is shaped exactly like that. Um, and then we've got stacks of books. We've got all these critters reading. We've got an open book down here. We've got some little grasses to set the scene, some bookworms. There's even like a tiny book if you wanted to give it to the bookworm. Tiny acorn. So, so cute. I love the little mole as well. That's a new lawn fawn critter. They've never had a mole before. And then we've got some really great sentiments. Um, it's just so cute. So, so cute. I love them all. I don't want to keep reading them all to you because I've been holding this set in front of you for so long that you've probably read them all yourself. But anyway... Uh, I, of course, got the matching dies. You're going to see this one on my channel probably sooner rather than later because I am the most excited about that one. And then um, this one I've already repackaged, but the treat cart add-on coffee. I really love the treat cart stamp set that was released in the previous release, and I've already made a few different cards with that. I'm super excited about the new coffee add-on. I think it just gives us so many more opportunities to play with that one. So many great sentiments and lots of little um, images. I love little images. I think they're just so much fun to add little details to a scene. So I did actually create a card using this stamp set quite a while ago. Um, and it was supposed to be on the Lawn Fawn YouTube channel right after the release. But unfortunately, the girls who do the intro to the stamp set videos were all sick. So they weren't able to do the intro videos yet. And so they did postpone any of our videos until they get those intro videos up. So I had to take that video down. It never was published, but... Um, it was scheduled and then I just removed it to unlisted because 
Uh, I'm not supposed to share it yet, but that video definitely will be coming. I just don't know when because they do want to get all of those intro videos up first. And as far as I know, um, they're still not well. So really sending them good well wishes, hoping that they all get better soon so that they're able to film those videos. As I know I'm super excited to watch them and I'm sure you guys are too because they always, you know, show you a couple different card ideas for the images as well, um, which I always find super helpful. And one of my favorite parts of the video is when they show all of the design team samples, because then you really get to see the different ideas that you're able to come up with with a stamp set that always sells me. Um, but anyway, really excited about this one. I did get the matching dies as well. I've just already repackaged this one since I already used it. Um, then I have another set that I'm super excited about. This one is probably my most excited for Christmas set. And that is the uh, Cheesy Christmas with our adorable mice that we all know and love. And we've got this big Christmas tree. So I actually purchased one of the Stamp Timber sets that Lawn Fawn um, did for Simon Says Stamp like years ago that was also with a, um, I think it had a Christmas tree or was it just a gift? I think it had a Christmas tree and then the mice were like a different style. I actually still have it because I, I still have held on to it. But I'm so excited that we now have a new set with the adorable new style of mice. And the Christmas tree, I think, is much larger in this set than it was in the old one. Um, I also really love the wrapped gift that is so clearly cheese. And this one looks like a wheel of brie or camembert or some other kind of wheel cheese. It could be goat cheese, whatever. And then we also have a gift bag, which I don't think we've ever had from Lawn Fawn before. So that's kind of fun. And then the radio is so cool. I love that image. I think that gives you a lot of different possibilities that extend beyond Christmas. Um, you could use that image with, you know, other images for like a birthday or anything. Um, and then rocking around the Christmas tree is obviously like the theme of this set. They're all supposed to be dancing to the radio, which is really, really cute. And then we Swiss you a Merry Christmas and a very nice New Year. And then there's some other sentiments in here as well that are really cute. Good, good tidings to you, tis the season to be cheesy and so on. Really, really, really cute. And of course I got the matching dies. Um, moving out of Christmas, well, this set could be Christmas, but it's also just winter, which I'm really excited about. Um, this one I have also repackaged already. This is the Frosty Family. So this is like the Build a Snowman stamp sets that we had before. I can't remember if that's the exact name of it. I think it might be something else. Frosty Friends, maybe? Anyway, it's similar to that, but it's like next level because we have more shapes than just the two from that original set. And we also have so many different faces and hats. We've got a little baby snowman right here. We've got little buttons or coal that you can add to their bellies. So, so cute. All kinds of different noses. You can put them in different directions. You can create your own family, which I think is super adorable. And then to go along with this stamp set, I also got the Frosty Family add-on, which I'm so excited for because it has a little snow puppy. So, so cute. There's also a little snow kitty, which is adorable. And then we have another baby snowman. This one doesn't have the hat on. So if you want to put your own hat on or even just leave him without a hat, there's that option in this set. And then we just also have some other little faces. So like this little face is pointed toward the left where this one is the same, but it's point, pointed toward the right, but the eyes are open. So this one is pointed toward the right, but the eyes are kind of closed. So it just gives you more options. And again, there's another little face right here for like the medium size. Really cute. Another little branch. And then you have Woof and Meow and some really cute little punny sentiments and a from the whole family. 
I can't wait to do like my my family as snowmen, which I will obviously include my little snow pup Gemma. Really excited to play with this set. I think it's going to be so much fun. It's just so many different opp opportunities to like mix and match stuff. Okay, moving into the standalone dies. I did grab the Lawn Fawn Build a Christmas Tree. I just thought this one would be really fun for the holidays and you can mix it with so many different stamp sets. So I'm really excited to try this one out. It has lots of different layering possibilities. You also just have the frame if you want that, if you just want to color it as is. There's also a little carpet two different styles of star, or you can layer them up. We have some different ornaments and some little strings and different things. So, and of course the little trunk of the tree. So really fun possibilities. You could color this with Copics. You could ink it up with your Distress Oxides. You could watercolor it. Lots of different options with this one. And then I got two basic dies, which I was so excited about in this release. I have been wanting something like this for a while. And by a while, I mean years. Um, and that is the large and small stitched rounded rectangle stackables. I just really love the rounded corners. One of my all time favorite Lawn Fawn dies was the stitched journaling card, which I think is retired now. But back in the day, I used that so often on cards that I actually had to like force myself not to use it on things because I just loved it so much. I love the rounded corner look. It just adds a whole new level of polish to your cards, I think. I just love it. And I thought about only getting one of them, but I really did want the options for layering and also just to have the different sizes because you never know what is going to fit best on a card. And, you know, unless you have like the whole nesting set, which I wanted to have. So I did kind of have to sacrifice not getting some of the other dies to get both of these because I did have a budget that I had to stick to. Um, if you've been watching my videos, you know I'm about to head on a trip pretty soon here, and so I've been saving my money, and I had a budget that I just had to stick to no matter what, and so I really wanted like the book dies or the bookmark dies, or there was quite a few that I would have loved to pick up, but I just couldn't, so um, that's okay though. I mean, I really do believe that we can be happy with a few things. We don't have to have all the things. I know, you know, uh, it's, it's nice to have all the things, but we don't have to have all the things and we can still be happy and make beautiful cards without everything. Um, but anyway, I did still get um, a couple of the paper pads. Of course, you guys know me and my pattern paper. I got the Falling Leaves 6x6 love the palette of this card uh this uh, paper pack so so pretty for fall really rich tones i love the inclusion of the peach in there and the aqua i think it's so fun and then we have of course the mix of like gingham and plaid with the different colored leaves and i just love the way these are illustrated this is pretty much i think the exact same leaves as the ones in the stamp sets You Autumn Know and Scripty Autumn Sentiments, which I love those leaves. So I thought that was really fun that they used those designs for a paper pad. Super fun, and like I said, I just really, really love the color palette. So again, this is really helping me get in the mood for fall. And then I also picked up the Candy Cane Lane, which has a bunch of different stripes, including a nice rainbow stripe. And then this one has all different patterns, which I'm so excited about. Um, I much prefer to have a mix of patterns because I just think there's more opportunities to mix and match things when there's more options than just one. You know, like this one is beautiful, but I wouldn't mix leaves and leaves on a card. I basically have to use this formula of a leaf and a plaid if I want to use two, which is fine. I don't mind that. 
but sometimes I like to use three or four patterns on a card and this gives me more opportunities to do that so um, really really fun and this one also has gold foil in it I don't know if I said that but it has gold foil in the stripey papers I think I think it's only the stripes but we have bows and there's a pink with the foil we have like little squiggly lines that remind me of a old-fashioned telephone cord and then another like almost like a dark periwinkle or indigo with the uh, stripes we have an aqua snowflake which is really great because that's going to be fantastic to use on winter cards and then the stripey print with the gold foil and then we have almost like a dark greenish aqua I really love the, the the more blue toned green with little tiny tiny Christmas trees and again the foiled paper we have peppermint candies on pink which is really cute and then the stripe with the foil and then colored candy canes and the rainbow which is a repeat so you get three of every print in here so lots of um, you don't feel like you have to hoard because you get three of everything so you can you know if you need to hoard one of each you still have two to use um, okay and then the last couple things I got was I got another one of the hemp cords I have the the purple one now which I love purple it's one of my favorite colors so I thought that would be a good one and then I got three of the new washi tapes so I got the book club washi which has the little books around it which of course I had to to seal up any envelopes where I use the little Woodland Library stamp set plus others and then um, I also got the hot cocoa which I thought would be fun for just winter cards it can be Christmas cards but also just winter in general both before and after Christmas and then this one I got for my Christmas cards. This is the Santa and Reindeers. This is called Santa and Friends. This one is called A Latte Love. I said, think I said this one, book club, yeah. So really, really cute. All of those I thought were just gonna be fun. I love to seal my envelopes with washi tape because it just adds a little insight into what might be inside. You know it's gonna be something fun when you open it. Um, so yeah I just grabbed those three because those were my favorites so I didn't end up getting any of the Halloween stuff and I kind of wanted the sweet spiders but again I just had to make choices and I thought I would get more use out of the rest of this stuff because I I don't make that many Halloween cards I didn't grow up celebrating Halloween and um, you know it's just it's not as big of a holiday for me and so I would have rather had things for um, just every day or fall or um, for my holiday card series coming up because you know I need stuff for that so anyway um, that is my haul so thank you guys so much for watching I did want to mention that I am a Lawn Fawn affiliate so if you purchase anything from the Lawn Fawn website using the links below my videos um, I do get a little kickback that helps support this channel and I know I mentioned this like a couple months ago but I actually haven't had a single sale in almost two months now and I didn't get a single sale from this last release which I was kind of surprised by um, but it is what it is it was you know I'm just right now I'm trying to save every penny and you know but anyway if you are wanting to support my channel and help me purchase new items so that I can share them with you in videos please do consider using my links for Lawn Fawn because that really does make a huge difference for me. Not only just financially, because um, it's, it's not a huge difference financially, but it is um, it does add up. Every little bit adds up, but it is a huge difference to me emotionally because it just makes me feel uh, like, you know, like I should keep doing this, um, especially because lately with YouTube, 
like literally my channel earnings were cut in half this month and I'm not really sure why because I didn't post any fewer videos or anything like that but I don't know what it is it's just the algorithm or maybe um, maybe just people haven't been as interested in my videos maybe people are getting away from coloring or getting away from card making altogether I really don't know what it is um, that is the biggest drop that I have seen probably in the 13 years that I have been doing YouTube. Um, and I already make so, so little on YouTube that it really doesn't even make sense for me to be doing it anymore. So to have even that little bit, um, you know, I think I worked it out a while back and I think I make like less than $2 an hour doing this and I spend probably 35 hours a week on it. So you can do the math if you want to. I make very, very little and that was before it was cut in half for this month. So um, there's some big decisions to be made in my future, but I'm not going to think about that right now. But anyway, I've talked long enough. I hope you all have an absolutely wonderful day. Please let me know which products you are most excited to see me use and maybe I can bump those up the list. And uh, thank you all again so much for spending your time with me today. It's such a gift for you to be here and to be watching and commenting and liking my videos. It means the world and um, I have to like <laughs> not get emotional about it because sometimes it is a bit emotional to just know that you guys are all here supporting me and um, I can't thank you enough. All right. You all have an absolutely wonderful day, and I'll see you soon in another video. Bye-bye.